Welcome to Outlaw Librarians Jailbreaking the Modern Library, a Peoria Public Library podcast where we bend and break the rules of the old fashioned library. Listen while we talk about how librarians are breaking the stereotype of boring, stuffy libraries. Public Libraries Podcast, Outlaw Librarians. This is podcast number 17, from wagons and horses to fast, sleek bookmobiles. Today we have Miss Jamie at the bookmobile. Welcome, Jamie. Hi. Hi. What is your work history with Peoria Public Library? What's your job title? How long have you been here? Well, my job title, I am a LA, which is a library assistant, and I'm the official bookmobile driver for the outreach department. And actually, I just celebrated my... 20 year anniversary oh, here wow. on April 21st. Oh, so wow. yeah, 20, 20, 20 years. years. Yes. Wow. Like I was saying, how are we so old? <sighs> We're so old. On you. <laughs> <laughs> what is your average day on the bookmobile? Well, I usually leave, I'm based out of the North Branch. That's mm-hmm. where the bookmobile is parked at. So I usually leave right around 8.30 because my first stop starts at 9. Okay. So I drive to, I do my pre-inspection, bookmobile inspection to make sure it's safe to go out on the road. Mm -hmm. And then I drive to my first stop. I usually have about four to five stops a day. Okay. And each stop is usually anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on if it's a school or a neighborhood stop, how busy it is. So I just, I follow my schedule. My day goes by super fast. I would imagine. And yeah, and my laptop usually gets over no later than 4.30. Then I just head back to the library and park the bus. Park the bus, yeah. Okay. How often are the materials switched out? And how do you decide what goes in there and when? Well, we are constantly getting new books, movies, magazines, Mm -hmm. and everything on the bookmobile. It's usually, you know, from every week to at least once a month, a couple times a month. So okay. we just base it off of when we get new materials, we remove the oldest. Like okay. if it, and if it's not checking out, if it's a little newer, we'll still get that off there too. Okay. But yeah, just to make room for the new stuff. And nothing out there, honestly, is any older than a couple years. Yeah. So it's all pretty new items, all the bestsellers, everything that mm-hmm. everybody wants. So if you're okay. looking for an older book, we more than likely we don't have it out there, but yeah. definitely get it. it for you. All right. What are some of the things that the Bookmobile does outside of your typical stops for neighborhoods and schools for people to check out items? Well, people can request us to come to their special events that they're having. As long as it doesn't interfere with our regular bookmobile schedule. Mm -hmm. So it could be an evening, and we've done weekends before. We've done things like back-to-school events. We've done, like, the big rig things where it's, like, touch a truck, where it's all the big vehicles, things like that. We have gone to the fair a couple years, and we also do school events, too. Okay. Yeah, if they want us at, like... Just, you know, anything that they have going on or neighborhood Mm -hmm. events, like block parties, stuff like that. We, as long as, yeah, as long as it doesn't interfere with our regular schedule, we Mm -hmm. try to make it work. So That's really cool. What is your favorite thing about driving the bookmobile? Favorite thing would definitely have to be the fact that I am not tied to a desk. I am out and about in the community all day long, Mm -hmm. and I get to, it's pretty much the same people that, you know, that come on at all the stops, Mm -hmm. so you get to really know them, and, you know, you develop those personal relationships, you know, with the kids and the adults and everybody, and just being out in the, you know, in the winter, it's not the greatest, but, you know, when it's nice weather like this, you know, you have the doors open, and you just actually, you get to see just the niceness of everything and to be out in it and mm-hmm. yeah so that's a little building exactly instead of yeah. posted up at a desk all the time well i always <laughs> love when i'm driving through town and i see the big bookmobile like flying down the road <laughs> no, and I'm, not not going, going. I'm not going fast but <laughs> yeah it's so big that if i i feel like you're flying down the right. road right right and people say that too like yeah. I'll, I'll be at a stop and I just saw you at, you know, usually it's little kids. I just yeah. saw you here, and I waved to you because you didn't see me. Yeah. I'm like, well, oh. yeah. <laughs> big, big, big bookmobile. Yes, yes. focus on driving, keep yeah. me on the road. <laughs> and that's good and safe. Yes. Okay, last question. What are you currently reading? What is on your nightstand? You know, I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I have not read 
an adult book in a very, very long time. Well, that's fine. We love kids' books. <laughs> yes. Because I have a seven-year-old, we mm-hmm. are constantly reading. So the last book that we finished a couple nights ago was The Velveteen Rabbit, Aww. which happens to be my favorite book that's from my childhood. Book. Love that book so much. And I was really hoping he loved it as much as yeah, I did. And he, he did. did. Well, good. He did. He said it was a wonderful story. You might have to disown him if he hated it. Uh, you know, it, I love that, your son, but bye. But yes, <laughs> you don't like my favorite childhood book. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is the last book that. Okay. Velveteen okay. Rabbit. Yes. A good classic for everybody to read. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Jamie, for joining us. We have Jamie with the Bookmobile for podcast number 17 From Wagons and Horses to Fast, Sleek Bookmobiles. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to us here on Outlaw Librarians, Jailbreaking the Modern Library, a Peoria Public Library podcast. We strive to break the rules and laws of the old silent libraries and make them fun and exciting again. We hope you enjoyed listening and learning about the new noisy rules of libraries. You're a daisy. The show must be go by Kevin McLeod in Competech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0. Website http colon forward slash forward slash creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by forward slash 3.0 forward slash.